are we certain at this point that we'll need new vaccines or new boosters to actually, you know, battle Omicron? Uh, good morning, Francine. No, we're not certain. It does need the work to be done. It is very possible that, that the um, antibodies that the vaccines, the current vaccines generate, are not as good as neutralizing the Omicron um, variant. But it's also possible that vaccines that have been in development already at AstraZeneca, BioNTech, Pfizer, and Moderna, designed against the beta variant, have better efficacy and then we'll have to wait and see how that uh, how that shapes up and maybe a third dose also takes your antibodies so high that you can still fight off omicron at least for a period of time so sam and then i want to go back to the markets with scott sam what what are we certain about at the moment that there's a lot of mutations but we don't know whether it's more deadly and we don't know whether it's more transmissible or is it a given that it you know it transmits quickly you know more quick than what we have at the moment well, Francine, it's got characteristics that are similar to the Delta variant in terms of some of the mutations. So it is possible that it's at least as um, uh, transmissible as the Delta variant, possibly more. And in terms of the deadliness, etc., we really have to wait and not hang too much on anecdotal information from, for instance, South Africa, which is what's uh, making people feel a little bit better today. I am hopeful. I would love it to be the case, but I'm not sure that we, we really have any information to base views on as to whether this is a mild or more severe or less severe, et cetera, uh, variant. Could it be much more widespread than we think? Um, yeah, I mean, Francine, really only genomic analysis will, will show that. It is possible that it's um, more widespread, but countries that do a lot of PCR sequencing, such as the UK, would have noticed that because in certain PCRs, um, you get a slightly weird response, which is, was the case also with Alpha, if you remember. That's how it came to be identified so quickly. So I think we would have known, at least in the UK, if it was a lot more widespread. Um, but is it five cases, two cases, three cases, or 20 cases? That's the part that's difficult to know. But I don't expect it to be really widespread yet.